Hello, today we're going to talk about Newton's third law. So Newton's third law states that for every action there's an equal and opposite reaction. Uh, and when Newton originally said this, uh, the word action was used to apply to forces. So we really can read this in mechanics as for every force there is an equal and opposite force. And this comes to be in terms of pairs of forces. So for every force, we've got some matching force that goes with it. Uh, and these Newton's third law pairs uh, come in the form, if body A exerts force on body B, then body B will exert an equal and opposite force back on body A. So an important thing to notice right here is that we've always got two bodies and there is one force acting on each of these two bodies interacting. So, as some examples of all of this, uh, we can think about the Earth and the Moon. Uh, the Earth is exerting a gravitational force pulling the Moon towards the Earth, and the Moon is exerting an equal and opposite force back on the Earth. So this right here is an example of a Newton's third law pair. Here we've got a box sitting on a table. So we've got a couple of Newton's third law pairs acting right here, actually. So if we think about gravity pulling the box down, there's actually a gravitational force on the Earth exerted by the box pulling the Earth up. Uh, but the Earth is so large, we tend to not notice that. So that's one pair. The second pair is actually at the point of contact between the box and the table. So the box is pushing down on the table with a normal force. We've got an equal and opposite normal force from the table that's pushing up on the box. So that is the second pair. And you'll notice that both of these pairs uh, were two bodies, one body exerting a force on the other, and that other body exerting an equal and opposite force back. So finally, if we've got uh, two members connected like so, so we've got a, uh, a beam that is connected via a pin joint to the wall, uh, if we separate these two things out, the other thing we're going to notice is if we draw in some forces, say we've got unknown forces in the x and the y direction uh, on the beam, when we draw in these forces on the connection to the wall, we need to draw in those unknown forces in the opposite direction. So the force in the x is going to be equal and opposite, and the force in the y is going to be equal and opposite. So with that, that's all I have for today. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again.